Here we go again. Watch them come under. Watch them come under the. They came, both came under the water wall last time. Before they were killing themselves with grenades. They've already thrown a couple. Of, see, went right under. Right under, man. So I have to kill them. And then I get another attack. See, he comes right under. Where'd the other guy go? He killed himself? No. He killed himself. No. Nope. You do not want to go underwater when they're underwater. You can't shoot. They still can. And their usual mile away pinpoint accuracy also. Alright, there's one where the other guy go. I've had them disappear before and their boxes. Like last time. It looks like this is another disappearing hunter and his box. He was right over here. See this wall goes underwater and they get under it. How is that? Okay, they go underwater. Maybe it's, you know, he's going to swim. They do go underwater when they attack the BCU or you. Oh, I don't know what to do. Build the, I suppose I'll build a wall underneath. I mean, attach it to this wall going half a wall underwater. They will attach top to bottom, not side to side. So that's that's a good bit of wood. I don't have uh I've got a little damage. Thought I heard a grenade when I ran out here. Wow, this is hurt bad. Guess cause they threw a grenade and it it sunk down and then went off. Oh yeah, you gotta be underwater to repair these. It's slightly underwater. See, it won't work above water. It's splashing. So that's my morning attack from raiding them yesterday. Them guys right there. The other guys are down here. One of them disappeared. Two there, two there. Oh, he's back. He went back. Yep, two there. I raided them, so that was their morning attack. And one guy went back. I didn't even see him go back. And I killed one. Okay, well, that should build some loop. I'm still going to get another attack, damn it. I want them to be stuck far enough away where they don't go into attack mode and do damage. And I can come out here and engage them enough that they just shoot at me a couple of times and go home, attack over. And I've moved this wall out. I've moved both walls out. I moved the wall on the other side way out. The thing is, if I move this wall way out to here, I was going to move it out to right here, this cor corner of a, uh, a sharp cliff they can't get out. I was going to move it out to here, straight across here. Uh, but then they would probably go to the next closest wall to their object of desire, the BCU. I mean, I have BCUs on this wall right here, so that's probably what they're going for. Move the wall out and don't string BCUs out here for light, for power and light, and then they probably won't go into attack mode. It's could be this BCU thereafter. It's right on the other side of the wall. 
which I had to put, lay like eight more BCUs to get power out to here for a couple floodlights. You know what? I'll bet you that's it. I always used to, and I thought they were still going for the BCU up there. But they're probably going for this BCU. It's right here. That's another reason we need, like, power supply boxes. You just have one BCU. Let's see? This BC is probably what they're going for. Hmm. Remove the BCU and no lights out here. And see what happens. Or move the wall out. Or come out here and repair it uh, uh, and or kill them. I don't know. There was your attack, though. I leave a couple lights on so I can see. I don't need any meat, so thank you. Please let me pass. Or I'll shoot you. Turn some lights off. Alright, well, you can't just uh, goof off all day. I gotta go collect and stuff. run home and feed the chicken all the tomatoes I can possibly grow as fast as I can grow them they eat them I only raise one I don't ever get a tomato he gets them all I'm only growing two and that's a ton of work too it's a vicious cycle both of them I just want eggs I could hunt more and eliminate the eggs that's what I usually do totally way off balance and not worth it all the water alone and all my tomatoes if you grow a full bin of tomatoes that's t it's like 60 canteens a day of water plus the bird you wouldn't believe what the bird drinks more than the tomatoes he's like six canteens a day I swear to god all right i got two wolves that live out here plus one inside my fence Give you the big view here. I think I'm going to turn these guys off. I don't like their placement and their. You build the walls and stuff and do a lot of work for the hunters that you have, and then uh, you turn them off for a while. It gets so bad and not worth it, and you run out of everything. And then when you turn them back on, they come somewhere else, attack another wall. It's just what I'm gonna do. Eventually, I didn't, cl <laughs> you know, have walls all the way around the, and they'd be spawning inside my walls. Walls all over the map. The best thing to do is to build a tower with no cabin like this, about three, four stories high. Put your house on top of it. Armor the three or four story tower don't bother with walls and lights and stuff you're not going to stop anything armored walls will take attacks it'll be a while between repairs that's planks for that and, that and that's the simplest and easiest way to go about it and just take the damage go about your business kill it and, uh, and have your your whole house, the whole thing, up there three or four stories and your tower fully armored and then you wouldn't need all of this. That's the simplest, easiest thing. I, I know a couple guys that do it. And they just, they don't repair every day or every attack, they just once in a while. This, uh, 
an enormous amount of work for all these walls and they just blow the crap out of them every day. Alright, see you later.